Hi, Paco. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. I'm Tony. This is Paco. I guess he's going to be my co-host for the day. Um, so I'm back officially from Nashville. Had an amazing trip. Um, I think I did one video since I've been back, and that was my uh, for my Zodiac. Um, so I didn't have the Q&A for the last couple of weeks because, obviously. Um, so back now um, we do the magic watch ball every Friday night and that is just a light-hearted approach you can ask the magic watch ball anything regarding your watches uh, she answers you and then I give my two cents worth this is just a light-hearted fun way because every other youtuber thinks they have a crystal ball but they always say I don't have a crystal ball but this is what's gonna happen in the watch world so she can be a smart ass she can be rude she can be fun she can be whatever Let's just do it, right? Ask questions. I'm back, so just ask questions, and we'll do. We'll, re, we'll resume the Q and A uh, next Friday. However, I do have one question. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer, and then I'm gonna do a sort of a Nashville roundup and the ads in Nashville. So let's roll the intro, and we'll get started. All right, so first and foremost, I am gonna do the first question and the only question I have, because this was just a random question that came from Greg Saga 682 um, Said he's a great channel, cool dudes, thanks. I always appreciate it when you guys comment. What are my next Rolexes? I mean, geez, dude, I don't have enough that I have to keep getting more, is that what it is? It's that, that's all you guys like to see anyway. Anytime I get a new Rolex, you guys just, I get the more views than I could ever imagine, you know what I mean? So today I'm wearing my GMT Master 2 126710 BLNR. Um, this is one of the two watches I brought to Nashville with me. Um, I brought my Zenith Pilot along with me as well. So my next Rolexes are this. Um, I asked Juan about getting me a 36 millimeter turquoise uh, Tiffany dial. Um, so that's one of them, but I, I know all of you guys, every time I do a new Rolex thing, they, you think I'm getting the Daytona and the Daytona, but let me explain something to you. Rolex are almost a year behind on their new references when they come out. Keep in mind, um, when they release their new models, for the most part, Watches and Wonders um, in March, those watches don't get released until at least mostly the end of the year or the very beginning of the following year. So people are going, are you gonna get a Daytona? Are you gonna get a Daytona? Well, don't think that I haven't been able to get one. It's just an older reference number that I'm able to get. So having said that, two nights ago, Juan calls me at Bindi, you all know my AD, and says, I have some good news for you. Um, and the good news is, is the new references are gonna start coming in. <clears throat> and I have first dibs, and I will be getting a Daytona uh, new reference number. So I will be one of the first, hopefully, to be getting the new Daytona. Um, so I'm super stoked, I was really excited. Um, if the Tiffany comes in, I'll you know I'll get it. But uh, either way, that's probably going to be my next my next Rolex, either the Tiffany or the or the Daytona. After that, d stop asking me about what Rolex I'm going to get. <laughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. So anyway, I wanted to do a brief roundup of my trip to Nashville, and you know it all started kind of like I was nervous because of my back. You all know I have a bad back, and the night before I left, my back went out and it started to go out pretty bad. Lucky enough, I'd gotten some medication, not just the painkillers, but uh, some steroid pack thingy, whatever. And my doctor said, only if you have a flare up to, to start taking those. And so I did, I started taking those the, the night before. And when I got to the airport, I was in a wheelchair. By the time I got off the plane, I could walk uh, barely without my cane. And, and the whole trip was great, so it was awesome. So that was cool. Let's go to the, uh, you know, we had fun. We, I mean, went out to eat a lot, man. I'm, we drank a lot, and I don't usually do, like, I don't go out and whatever, but Lincoln is one of the coolest guys, the most gracious host. Um, love him. He's like a brother I never had, you know what I mean? And so, um, friends for life, Lincoln, dude, brother. Um, so, you know, we, we spent a lot of time in the recording studio because I was recording my new, sit, my new song, um, Don't Blame Yourself. Of course, I'll play that for you guys when it comes out or when I get a copy of it. 
and in fact maybe I'll, I'll flip up a, a video of it and uh, no at the end of this video maybe I'll do that I don't know um, maybe not I have a little tiny clip but that was me in the studio just filming as we were listening back to some of the tracks um, so uh, so essentially what we did is, is one of the purposes of hanging out and going out there was to check out all the watch you know go watch shopping man like you know what normal dudes do and so we went to I uh, now I've already spoke highly of King Jewelers as well as Sphinx um, and this is primarily primarily about Finks because we initially went to uh, this diamond place, whatever, I don't know what it's called, it's diamond something or other, but that's where Lincoln's got his Rolex from. Um, and we went there first and that was on, I don't actually remember what day it was, I think Friday probably. Um, and you know, I walked in with, with him and I don't ever have any high expectations anywhere I go and certainly, you know, I'm super chill, and so is Lincoln. You know, there's no like, you know, hey, look at me. I already have a freaking whatever. None of that shit. So we walked in. Uh, I guess the guy, I can't remember his name, uh, but Chris or something like that. We were walking around, checked some stuff out, then whatever. Then, uh, then I started talking to him, and I don't know, man. They were, the, as far as we knew at that time, the only Rolex AD in Nashville. So there's only one Rolex AD in Nashville, which is kind of crazy, man. So this dude that works at this diamond whatever place basically has Nashville by the balls. You know what I mean? He's got everybody under like a little, like a puppeteer thing like this. He's in control. You know what I mean? And I didn't get the vibe. I, I mean, he was a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he was cool. I mean, a little bit arrogant, but I was kind of like, whatever um i know lincoln bought a watch winder they didn't even offer him a discount on it i couldn't believe it i was kind of like didn't even after what you've spent here you know you're not you're not even getting a little bit of a discount on a watch winder come on dude <laughs> that's, that's i don't know I, don't, I think that's not cool but whatever that's me <clears throat> so i mean again he wasn't a bad you know whatever i tried on an, an aramez watch but um and he looked at me he was you know we talked a little bit about that and whatever but i felt when i walked out you know I go, you know what, man, if I had ever moved to Nashville and I'm, I needed a Rolex AD, I would have left there thinking I'll never get one, not even an OP or anything. I mean, I just felt like, I don't know, I felt dirt. I felt like I needed to take a shower, right? And so we left anyway, not a big deal. I was like, not, not impressed at all, you know what I mean? And, but then uh, he, he told me there was a new place called Fink's opening up. I wasn't sure if it was open yet or not. In the meantime, also one of my viewers, Elon, had sent me a, a message on Instagram saying that Finks is open, we should check it out. Totally forgot, I totally forgot about that until I actually met him because he was at the AD when we went there. So um, we went to, uh, after that, you know, the next day we went to King Jewelers. And again, I, I, I customer for life, dude, on anything I can't get at Bindi, my AD, it's going straight to King. Uh, we then drove to Finks and we stopped off, grabbed some lunch at that sh the Shake Shack. I'd never been there before, and it was actually really good. And uh, and the Finks is connected to the uh, to the Shake Shack. So um, after that, we we went into Finks. Now there was a lady outside who worked in Finks. I don't know her name. I'm sorry, I never asked. Um, sh short little girl, but she was super super friendly. Hi, and then w I was just talking to her for a minute. And I just thought she was just this just she was awesome, man. She just you know just a nice lady she was awesome so whatever your name was uh thank you for being nice to me and lincoln as well so we go into finks it's a beautiful store the way it's laid out i'm throwing up pictures all over the place so you see um and then my uh you know lincoln was looking at the he's talking to the sales rep mikey um i was just walking around the store and whatever um, I looked at their displays and you know, it's n nothing I haven't seen before, but it's still a very beautiful store. And uh, uh, then I know that Mikey knew who, who Lincoln was from the bands and all the, the music stuff and whatever. And then, then my viewer, Ilan, came up and, and hey, talking time is with Tony. Yeah, hi man, what's up here? Nice to meet you. And he's looking for a Submariner. Uh, uh, with with the date, not the no date, not the one two four zero six zero, but um, and so he that's what he was looking for. He was real nice, but then the manager came over, Jeanette, Jeanette Keith. She was so freaking awesome. I mean, one of the nicest ladies you could ever meet. The experience at Fink's Jewelers was so far. Paco, get Paco. Sorry, 
the, the experience at Fink's Jewelers was, I don't know, we walked in and we were treated like VIPs, man. There was no bullshit. There was no like, well, you know, we sell Rolex and blah, blah, blah. I had a feeling that if I would have asked for a Rolex, I would have got it pretty quick. Um, whereas at the Diamond whatever place, I felt like I would have never got one. It would be like, shit, if I move to Nashville, I'm going to have to fly to LA anytime I want to pick up a Rolex because I'm not going to do business there. Um, I don't like that kind of approach and whatever, but that's just me. It might be good for you guys, so don't get me wrong. But Jeanette, Jeanette Keith was like um, just outstanding. Um, she, yeah, she listens she and she talks she asks questions she's just she's really cool can you guys please i'm filming a video do you have to do this right now so um anyway and mikey was cool um so if you happen to be in nashville i'm going to give you the address uh fink's uh jeweler is at 5019 aspen grove drive in franklin tennessee three seven zero six seven so check them out man okay so now keep in mind uh my viewer elon sends me a text now frank uh finks had only been open for five days from when we went in there which i think we went in there on saturday maybe or sunday no saturday it was saturday i know that um and he was looking for a sub i mean two days later he sends me a message dm saying hey dude i got my sub with a photo i'll throw that up so it just goes to show if you're cool, like I've said this a million freaking times, but yet I get commenters that just tell me that now it's not about being cool, it's this and that and this and you know, and fight it all you want, man. And it doesn't mean anything to me because I don't care. I've got the watches I want and I'm getting the watches I'm gonna get. And, um, but you know, it, it really does help to be nice. It helps to be polite. And it's not that you're groveling or kissing anyone's ass. You're just going in there and you're being cool. Simple as that, that's all it has to be. He got his Submariner freaking three days probably after asking for it or four days or however much it was. It was a few days. So you can get watches as long as you, you know, just it's what it is. It's not a game and it's not anything else, man, but just be cool. And so anyway, on Sunday, so we did our video at, uh, with my interview with, or my drink and a chat with Lincoln. And then the next day, um, uh, uh, Jeanette texted me. Um, and just thanked us and whatever and just whatever. So now I know that Lincoln's gotten invited to their grand opening and he's going to be getting a watch from Finks. If I ever moved to Nashville and I needed a new AD, Finks, 100%, man. I, I literally, I, I'm not, I don't ever get blown away by walking in a shop and going out, but I've had two awesome experiences in, t in Nashville. King Jewelers um, with Derek, Salt of the Earth, and then Finks, man, like absolutely stunning. So as far as I'm concerned, even though there's two ADs in Nashville for Rolex now, I still really consider it only one because I have a feeling that everyone's going to be going to Finks because <clears throat> who wouldn't want to be treated like that, you know, um, instead of being kind of feel like you're like someone's above you and like, yeah, well, whatever, we'll get whatever and do, you know what I mean? Again, the guy was cool with me. I don't know, you know what I mean? But that's maybe because I was a Lincoln and he knows who Lincoln is, you know what I'm saying? So whatever it may have been, I don't know. So I'm not trying to dog the place. I don't, like I say, I don't even remember the name of it. It just had diamond in the, diamond in the name or whatever. But uh, all right, having said that, I think, um, you know, I mean, again, with the new Rolex, I just, I, it was great to get home and get uh, my green OP back on the wrist. I, I kind of missed it because I'm still in the honeymoon phase with it. Um, I love the blue OP as well, but the 36 millimeter for some reason is really just, it's, you know, I, I'm stuck on it. So um, GMT, I am going to, as soon as I get more information on my Daytona or the uh, other OP, anyway, I'll let you guys know. And again, um, it, again, I know a lot of my viewers also go to Bindi. I, I, Juan tells me all the time how many viewers go in, how many viewers go in. And I get recognized in there all the time. So I get people coming up to me a lot at the Glendale Galleria, with the, the mall that it's in. So if any of you guys that are in the area of Nashville or, or, or Tennessee or whatever, make sure you stop in, say hi, say hi to Jeanette. You know, let her know that I said, sent you just to, to you know, be cool. Say hi to Mikey too. I didn't spend too much time talking with him, but I can tell you Jeanette was, again, salt of the earth, beautiful human being. And uh, so there you have it, you guys. So um, I will see you on the next Q&A. So make sure you uh, get your questions in. All right, we'll see you Friday.